Hey, what's going on everyone? This video, my goal is to share with you the difference between Coinbase and Binance. Both of these tools are used to buy and trade cryptocurrencies. However, I'm going to share when you might want to use one over the other. And it's really simple. My suggestion is if you're brand new, just starting out, to go with Coinbase. And if you're just buying and holding cryptocurrencies, you don't plan on trading these every single day of your life, then I also recommend going with Coinbase. If, on the other hand, you want to get into crypto trading, well, in that situation, I recommend Binance. So that is the short version of this video, but basically, Coinbase offers a very simple way to buy Bitcoin and it's very ideal for the beginner who's either new to the crypto space or is just a little frightened by all of the charts and graphs you might get on a trading platform. This is the tool I have recommended for everyone who asks me how to get started with Bitcoin. It's what I suggested in my how to buy Bitcoin video. And another benefit is when you sign up and you buy $100 worth of Bitcoin, you will get $10 extra of Bitcoin added to your account. So it's a great way to get a little bonus when you start. Binance, it's a little bit different. And if you wanna see what the user interface looks like, let's just go in here and look at the basic user interface. Now immediately, you probably have one of two reactions. Either you're like, ooh, this is disgusting, bring me back to Coinbase, or you were like, dang, I know this is what I want to use. And if that's the case for you, you know you want to understand what all of this crap is, then just go with Binance from the beginning. Now what I've just said is just my suggestion on which one to use when you're trying to get started and which one you might wanna use for trading. That being said, you can pretty much use either one if you have a preference. Even if you really prefer Coinbase, well there is actually another platform of Coinbase called Coinbase Pro. And this is the exchange equivalent for Coinbase. So this is pretty much a direct competitor to Binance. In terms of which one is better, I don't really think it matters, honestly. But one thing that's special about Binance is that it started not that long ago and very quickly took over the cryptocurrency space. It is the most popular exchange based on volume. And you can find these ratings on various websites. I'm on this website here, and you can see Binance is at the top. Binance was founded in 2017. I'm making this video in 2020. That's pretty crazy growth to become the top exchange in just three years. That being said, go away. <laughs> that being said, exchanges in general are fairly new. Even Coinbase was founded, I believe, in 2012. Yes, indeed. June 20th, 2012, Coinbase was birthed. Another difference, not that it really matters, is that Coinbase is a United States company, whereas Binance is a foreign company and that has brought up issues in the past, but I think it's pretty much resolved now. But the issue was that Binance was actually split. So if you go to Binance.com, this is actually a different website than Binance.us. So there's a little bit of confusion, and even I, when I signed up for Binance, tried to use Binance.com, and it said it wasn't available to the United States, and I was like, what the heck? I can't even sign up for the most popular exchange. All I really needed to know though was that there's a .us version, which is the one I want to use if I live in America. The US version is going to be a little bit more limited in capabilities. You know, you can go through these tabs and there is just less than there is on the .com version, but that's okay. It's not like there's any issues with the US version and it's totally fine to use that. You just might not get every single capability. So for example, you know, the ability to have a debit card or crypto loans. I don't think those are available, at least not yet, on the US site. So where do we even start? Well, my recommendation is Coinbase here and not Coinbase Pro. This is the easiest way to buy Bitcoin. You can go in here, you can set an amount you want to make a purchase for. We'll just put $10 here and we can preview this buy. And here there's a direct fee of 99 cents and you can see this fee break down here. If it's less than or equal to $10, the fee is 99 cents. The exchanges like Coinbase Pro and Binance, they're going to be on a percentage system. So you can see 
these are the fees for Binance. Now I just want to take a moment to talk about the difference between Coinbase and Coinbase Pro. Coinbase Pro allows you to set offers and say what you're willing to buy or sell Bitcoin at. Coinbase is a little bit different where when you buy a cryptocurrency, you just buy it for whatever the price is at that moment and Coinbase sells it to you. So you go in here, you say how much you wanna buy and it's just going to tell you how much Bitcoin that's going to be. And you can see it's 0 0.01 Bitcoin. This is an ideal solution if you're going to be buying Bitcoin once, twice, a few times, and maybe selling Bitcoin as well.